Welcome back, everybody. Because there is the bookshop or library we worked on last time. And I think I'll put a tree or something here. And then we have this spot over here I have marked out. And this is where today's build is going to be. So I was thinking, I know, dangerous. We have a bookshop over here. So a good thing to have to complement it, because there's probably magical books in the bookshop library, would be to put a brewing store here, or kind of a potion. I don't know if it's a potion store or just a potion uh, factory. But this will be a place where we have potions, where you can make potions, or you can buy potions, or any of that kind of stuff. Yes, I knew it. Perfect. Put the little lights in the corner. Actually, it's more than perfect because I've got to put a door in. Do I want it right across the street? That might not be. No, we'll put the door offset just a little bit. Like right about there. Especially if I dig this out. Oh! That dolphin stole my piece of dirt. Well, I'll let you have that. If we do one, two, three, four, like that. And then I can put another porch on it, kind of like I have over here. And then on the inside, I have a lot of this quartz. I've been doing some nether mining, which you'll see at some point. I don't want to uh, don't want to get into that now. I ended up with a lot of netherrack and a lot of quartz and all the stuff you get from the nether. At least from the old nether, because I'm in old nether territory where I'm working, not new nether. I thought for this store, it'd be kind of good to do a quartz floor. Not just the normal quartz blocks like I'm doing here, but with these un unmined quartz blocks. It looks like my texture pack actually puts different textures on there. I'm sure that's not natural. It's got to be the texture pack. Boy, those break quick. I'm not going to fill in all that with quartz. I, I want to get a pattern going. I think we'll do that. Yeah, and that'll give me room for four right there. I'm going to do four here, four here, four here, and four there. We end up with an extra row. Well, I'm not going to push out the wall. This extra row is just going to be quartz. I think that'll work. It's gonna put in like a nether wart, just a row of soul sand with nether wart. I think this area might be the good place to do it. So on the outside, 
we're going to go with kind of another look there. Well, let me actually do it. Let's do that. No. I think I'll go with that for the corners. Oops, nope, one more. If I put it there, nothing can spawn on it. So do that for the corners. And, oops, there we go. And I don't know where my blocks are. I've got orange. I need to make some orange. I'm going to put orange windows in. We'll have windows in here. Probably have big windows on this side. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. So a big orange window there. I don't know if this is going to work. So we're going to try. I want to put some wood in here. Let's see if this actually works. I mean, I'll go with the window. That there. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. And then the roof will be, oh, the roof will be starting up here. So it'll stick out one. Probably a half slab. Here, it's going to be a, a wood look. For the roof, maybe a dark spruce or oak. I may stick with oak because it's lighter. That changes this up. Because we'll do the wood on either side. And that'll give us a nice huge bay window or picture window, excuse me, here. Bay window, I guess, would stick out. We got a huge window here, huge window over there. And I just need to figure out how to do the what to do in between. Definitely put another wall here so if we do here and then we would have the jungle wood there that leaves us two three four five six seven eight so if I go three on either side something like that And then for the roof, yeah, I'll put, um, I think I'm going to do oak with maybe, maybe this uh, end stone. Yeah, end stone, end stone trim with oak. Now that I'm done thinking aloud, I will get to building this. And I think I'll just, uh, I'm going to slip to a very quick time lapse. And then we will uh, come back and do the interior decoration. So I'll do the walls and the roof. And then we'll get the interiors done.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Tried to keep it a little shorter. So I've uh, finished decorating the outside of the building, added in a few banners, some flowers around the edges, and then added in details such as these iron bars and trap doors and fences. Um, I think it helps give the building some texture and not make it so flat. So moving around over here to the front entrance, I uh, added on an awning with the trap doors. I uh, used some more iron bars as railing and then just put a little bit of white carpeting on top of the trap doors. I think that makes it look pretty good. And then the inside looks the same as it did. And then over on this side, we still have this area that is going to be uh, my nether wart farm. The design I have in mind for this involves using lava. So having these water blocks is not going to help. We're just going to end up with either smooth stone or obsidian. So what I'm going to need to do is dig down here a bit, I think, and just make a little, kind of lower the floor a couple blocks. And that'll give me space to put my lava down without getting water beside it. Now I have this uh, area set up with this U-shaped trench. So I can uh, put in my... soul sand and then fill in the bottom with my lava buckets I have and then the lava is going to go all the way around the soul sand and to keep us safe we'll put the yellow glass over the top so we'll put in a bit of nether wart here and that finishes it up so I like uh, the way the flowing lava is instead of just having solid blocks of lava. I just think it looks better that way. I want to put a chest over here and another over here. And this will hold the extra nether wart and then the soul sand. And if we head over to the entrance here, I think the main counter should go right here. So we're gonna use uh, more quartz to do the whole countertop. And that'll keep a nice uh, clean look to everything. So I'm just uh, putting in the final pieces of quartz to finish off the counter here. And I'm trying to get this stair to set properly. And then each side of the counter will put a uh, soul lantern on top of an iron bar. And I just need to add the trap doors onto the back and maybe an lectern or something like that and a crafting table and that should finish it up. I finished up decorating the inside, added in a bunch of brewing stands on counters here. Um, the smoke underneath them, they give it a spooky look. Have another wart farm over here. Uh, lots of uh, lighting in here. I had to put one block of lighting in the floor, so I'm going to hide that under some white carpet. I did add the lectern and the crafting bench and stuff into the counter. I think the smoke helps. It gives it that mystical look. And I also have these uh, hanging cauldrons over here, hanging from chains over fires where they can boil the water to make potions. And I think the final step on this is going to be taking a door and going with a dark oak, fancy looking door. And we'll just put that right about there. And that should uh, take care of most of the interior there. 
I am just wrapping things up. I named the building the Enchanted Bottle. It's got a little enchanted bottle there. I also added some additional item frames with bottles and stuff on the walls. I think when you add all those little touches here and there on these builds, it uh, really brings them to life. But I think that will wrap it up. I'm just going to add in a little uh, endless water supply here so we can fill up our bottles. Other than that, we are done for today. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, while I finish this up, you have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.